Hey guys, just another short one here again. Uh, obviously, all our videos with the 1UZ and 3UZ VVTIs that you've seen us do, we refer to the little valve at the back of the engine. This little valve over here. So I just chucked it underneath. So this little valve over here for the acoustic control induction system. So Toyota call it ACIS or acoustic control induction system. It's basically a very fancy way of saying variable intake runner length um, is what it is. Um, I know Calvin at the Cartoon Company has done a video, so I'm not going to spend too much time on going into all the details, or whatever like that. You can obviously watch his one, but I thought for our customers that maybe haven't seen his video, this is just a little explanation of exactly how that system works. Um, and we've actually had a customer where he's got a misfire between uh, like a very narrow band, like between 2800 and 3100 RPM. Um, and we've tried everything and the only thing so far that we don't we know is not working now is the variable intake runner length So we're going to try and see if we fix that if it's going to move that situation because it's only the very tight RPM band that we have in that problem. So maybe it's to do with the actual airflow characteristics. He is on a standard management ECU, so We'll see and hopefully that'll for, sort that issue out, but Basically all it is is you've got these little eight valves Along your intake so this is obviously the top of the intake. This obviously bolts onto here. And so basically all it is, is you've got the air coming in the front here. So this is the front intake. This is where the front intake is over here, okay? And now you've got a few options for it to go. So if you have a look down here, you see there, comes out over there. So I'll stick my finger out there, there you go. There you go. Okay, so when these valves are closed, What's happening is air's coming in, it's coming up through here, into here, I think this is the one we're looking at, so yeah, into here, and then across over to the other side over there, okay? And that then is obviously what goes into the actual intake, into your head over there. So the air has to pretty much, I'm gonna try and demonstrate so it goes like that, like that, and then all the way around, and then go in like that, into the intake. So what the system basically does is at low RPM, it shuts down, which is why the valve closes. So this is the standard position, is open. And then as soon as you start the car, after a few seconds, boom, it shuts. So it forces that air to take a really long path all the way from the intake, all the way over the top into the actual engine itself. So long runner length, more torque, less horsepower. When you start to get up into the RPM range, and there is another video, I'm going to try and see if I can get that video because he actually demonstrates on a piece of paper and he's got the paperwork from Toyota of exactly when and under what conditions these actually, um, you know, open their valves, all right? But basically the idea is at higher RPM, these valves open and effectively what they do then is if you have a look over here, if I shine the light, if I shine the light into there, you can actually see or if I... See if I can get, see if I can get, let's have a look there, there you go, there you go, so you see there's my finger over there, so basically all that's happening is the air is coming in, going straight up, and then boom, straight over there, so it's basically half the length, so you're cutting out this whole section, and you're going straight, and then boom, through there, so at higher RPM, these will then open, that then effectively I say it effectively halves your intake runner length and therefore shorter intake runner length, more horsepower. All right, so it's just one of the things that they changed over when they went from non-VVTI to VVTI. Uh, one of the many things, so you had the VVTI, you had the variable intake runner length, you've got air assisted injectors. So Calvin's got a video, a nice video on that. These two little pipes here, so this is a 1UZ VVTI, these two little air pipes over here feed down into here and they actually feed into your air assisted injectors on either side. So yeah, so that is the ACIS system. That is how it works. If it doesn't work, you lose a lot of low down torque. So we've had a few instances where people have messaged us and so on and so forth, and we've asked them if it's working and they said no. And so we've just done a little test for them. We've actually cable tied, cable tied the valve at the back here shut as opposed to open. And they said night and day difference. It, it felt amazing, you know, sort of up to about sort of three and a half, maybe 4,000 RPM. Um, and and that's kind of that's that's what you're losing when this isn't working So underneath the intake here is obviously got this little black vacuum canister with an electronic valve 
and that's what this little plug here is for. It sits here on the top of the intake about here and it plugs into the engine and it's just an electric vacuum solenoid valve that basically opens up the vacuum and then can pull that valve shut. So that's ACIS, that's what it looks like, that's how it works, that's what it's supposed to do and obviously the valve on the back, a few seconds of starting up, that's how you check that it is actually working. All right, so hopefully that's helpful to everybody. Um, we will, again, if you've got any questions or whatever, I said I'm gonna try and get some extra material and put it into the uh, comment section, well, not the comment section, the description below, um, if I can find everything. So do, do, if I don't find it, obviously I won't put it up. But anyway, so hopefully that's been helpful. Um, if you've got one of these engines and you feel like it's lacking some low down power, Take a look at your little valve at the back there. See what it's doing after you start it up. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.